sixth day of being a vegan. I'm about to go and play football wearing an England shirt with pride. Very happy and proud. I'm also ready to earn some, some Nike fuel points. And of course to power me, no meat, no milk, no dairy, just good old fashioned fruit. Here we fruit. Go. How's it going Manu? I'm exhausted. <laughs> you ready to kick ass again this week? I'll do it again. He destroyed us last week. Yeah, I'll do it again today. <laughs> How are you feeling? Ah, it's really good. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good, babe. You ready to win? I'm tired, but you're, yeah. <laughs> you're rubbish. You need some fruit and veg in you. <laughs> <laughs> the vegan lifestyle means you live, it means you keep going, and it means you win. Okay, here we go. Second time. Oh, and PS, we're on 4 2. We're winning. Vegans all the way. Ready to eat some food. So, what am I taking home? So, I've got some bananas. Quite a few of them, inspired by uh, my friend Nadia No Cheese and Banana Girl. And some strawberries to make a nice juice with. Then, to rice. eat, this is what I'm going to do. I've got plenty of yellow rice to make lots of. I'm going to make it not in water, but in vegetable stock. Keep it vegan. Add some carrot, which is going to taste delicious. Then I'm going to add a bit of red onion to give it some flavor. I'm also going to add a bit of that red onion, um, fry it as it is to go with. The aubergine is going to go on top. Obviously, I'm thinking of giving some real kick, some ginger. There you go. A bit of garlic to make it interesting. And then, of course, some lime to break down any of the fat that may come naturally from this food. <laughs> as you can see, it'll be next to nothing. But give it a bit of a kick, make it really nice. And to, to make it a bit more big and to flesh it out, a bit of broccoli. Some background. Um, Saturday nights have always been my night for pizza. Domino's, extra butter, extra everything. Half meat of pepperoni, half meat of salami. And that usually costs a fair bit of money. Tonight, I cook my first all-eat vegan meal. And this is what it's going to look like. You can see there's a little skin right there that you see can peel off. It's actually delicious to cook with. And it adds a lot of interesting flavor. The tomato sauce is going. And this is how my rice and vegetable stock is going. I wish you could smell this. Absolutely delicious. The onions inside, the garlics inside, tomatoes inside. And a bit of the vegetable stock has gone inside to the sauce as well. And it's simmering very fast to break it down. And then I'm going to put it down with more gentle heat. With the ginger, first you slice it. And then once you slice it, you put it into little cubes. Um, from strands, uh, which are called julienne. And that's it, it releases lots of flavor, and you get to really enjoy that. Almost meat. complete. All I need to do now is add the broccoli, which I do at the end, to keep the nice really banana go. This is for you, and Nadia, no cheese, this is for you. And the strawberries are for me. Here we go. I've always wanted to do this when they lid on video on YouTube. And <laughs> now my dream comes true. Wow. I decided why fry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this lovely, lovely vegetable. And I'm going to not fry it. Instead, I'm going to cut it up and put it into this lovely sauce. And I do know what this vegetable name is. It's aubergine. All right, here we go. Let's give it a try. Delicious. Nice and chunky, nice and big, straight into the sauce. Um, that's going to be delicious to serve and eat with the rice and bleed. It's time to add some lime into our sauce. Look at that rice. It's looking delicious. Cooked into that vegetable stock, absorbing all that flavor. Added a bit of ginger as well, just for kicks. Okay, ready? Now what I'm going to do, I'll turn off the sauce. I'm going to add the broccoli, leave it in there to cook it out. Whilst it's off, I'm going to be ready to eat. Good banana and strawberry. Now this is a beast of a portion, but we have the rice which is complete and finished, made of the vegetable stock. And I'm going to call the dish mm, Nadia No Cheese a la Freely, inspired by both. I'm extremely happy and I can't wait to get stuck in. I think in retrospect, looking back, I could have done with adding a bit more rice or a little less water. But it looks pretty good. It's a massive portion. No animals were harmed. And it looks delicious. And it smells amazing. I can't wait to get stuck in. And that's it. That's me for today. England. 
veggie tech to come thank you all very much and remember please if you can subscribe or share if you want to share this lovely recipe have a great weekend tomorrow's day seven so here we go <laughs>